Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Twist Gaming. We are streaming to you live from Origins 2019 in Columbus, Ohio, giving you a front row seat to some of the best board game publishers in the industry. And speaking of some of the best board game publishers in the industry and some of the best board game people in the Whoa. industry, Whoa, I'm here. Terrible. Reversal. <laughs> so good. I, <laughs> I just like wanted it. you. We are here with Hunter from Pandasaurus Games, and I also have a very special guest, Chris, from Game All Night. That's me. I don't you Gentlemen, thank you so much for taking your time to come and hang out with me today. I really appreciate it. I know you've got lots going on at the convention, so it means a lot that you're coming to hang out with me. Thanks for having us. Yeah, this is a blast. I can't wait to see, and I can't wait to see what the heck this is all about. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. So, Hunter, Pandasaurus has been coming out with some really great hits, hit after hit after hit. Yeah. And so what do you have up next? So this is this is going to be an August release for us. So come out at Gen Con. It is Mental Blocks by John Gilmore and Micah Sawyer, co-design. And it's got a lot of fun blocks. And <laughs> it's a cooperative game. Uh, you're going to use these blocks to try to make a structure in the middle of the board, okay. or middle of the table, wherever you're playing, uh, right. that matches some cards that you're going to get. So it goes two to nine players, and you're going to see cards like this. Which are uh, a little bit of green. A little bit of green. You'll see, forget the top. They just don't have tops. Oh, and the, apparently the yellow, too. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? There, there we go. Now it's now it's a yellow. So that, pretend that's yellow. But yeah, the uh, there you go. The blocks are shown on your card, and everyone gets a different card, so they don't get to see the entire uh, the entire puzzle. They will only see their own perspective of the puzzle. Uh, so each person will have their own specific design. So like in in our case, you might have that design. Right. I might have this part of the design. And we keep these secret generally, but just right. so everyone can right. kind of see. Oh, and nice. uh, if we have less than four, we'd have. We'd pass out more, uh, just multiples to one person. Uh, but this goes two to nine, so you can actually go to uh, quite a few players. Well, nice. there's some designs in here that don't have colors on them at all. They're just grayscale, and they show you what the the uh, end result should look like. And I feel like that's the most important part. I know we, you mentioned it, but the perspective. Yes. Right? That's everybody is essentially building the same structure, mm -hmm. and everybody only has one view of exactly. what this 3D structure and looks like. And they just have a flat view of it. So that, that show, it shows no depth. So in the case of this person, like uh, if I had this card... The, just the general idea is like, okay, I, I have this, I have this, and I have... Th these are going to be more white in the final version, but that would be my perspective. And, like, that works for what I'm trying to do if I was looking at it from my perspective. Uh, but for s whoever has this this card here uh, doesn't see is looking at something completely different so they have a triangle showing up and not, like mine doesn't even show a triangle so you have to like sit here and figure out where this goes in, in perspective of this. The cool thing is once you have 10 minutes to solve it Mm -hmm. uh, ultimately, what you're trying to do is uh, get that final one. And once you think you have the final answer, before looking at the final answer, you have to vote and see if you think it is, if you're going to stop the clock, essentially. Uh, let me show you what the final structure actually looks like, and we'll build it out here, just so you can get an idea of how cool the perspective changes can be. Because these are, man, these are wacky. Oh, uh, <laughs> these, so, these are hard to follow sometimes, even when you're looking <laughs> at it. Uh, but, boy, it is goofy. So it's something along the lines of this, this, and... It was a longer one. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's this one here, like that. So from th from each perspective, you can now see, like now this matches this. Oh, I think we got to go that way. Yeah, sorry. Right. So this matches this. Yeah. But it's got all this like extra stuff. You got a triangle here. You got blocks there. Right. So even from this, which one was this one? From yeah. this one, you can't tell that this object is a triangle. Exactly. You, you just can't tell see it that it's the back of the face of this. And if you turn it the other direction, oh, you'll throw <laughs> the pieces everywhere. But it it'll be the same thing. It's, it's the same deal. Promise. The cool thing is uh, that, that the solution card, this solution card actually integrates in uh, variant in the game. Uh, so you can also shuffle that into these cards when you're dealing them out. You just shuffle all the cards uh, for the, your player count plus one, uh, which is the solution. And whoever gets it, if they get it, is going to be the betrayer. So you will actually have a situation <laughs> where one person knows how the puzzle is supposed to com be complete, but they're suddenly trying to not have it complete. And if they get it, if they are successful, if everyone thinks there's not a traitor and it's, everything's going great, they call the vote and the puzzle's wrong, right. they lose. Wait, okay. wait, wait. You said if everybody thinks there's not a traitor, so is it optional? It's, op it's, it's not only an optional thing, you don't have to play with a traitor. When you play with a traitor, it's optional that the traitor is actually in the game. <laughs> so you don't know that there's actually a traitor, even when you're playing with a traitor. I caught I caught that like optional keyword. You did. I'm sentence. glad you caught the optional yeah, optional. That's it's kind of an it's, important It's mean. optionally optional. That's terrible. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty mean, because it, that means that they have to decide, is the puzzle correct, and vote on that. Or is there a traitor? They have to determine if there's a traitor. And then they have to determine who the traitor is. 
There's a lot going on with it. It's like kind of sadistic person sits around with blocks and says, "We're going to build something." Oh, and there's going to be a trader. Jonathan like, Gilmore. Jonathan Gilmore. That's, yeah. That's. Well, <laughs> I'd expect dinosaurs then. But, no. You know, I'm just saying, it's like it's that's insane. I think he's legally required to put a trader in every other game that he makes. Okay, so I think Dash Island he didn't do it, so now he's back to traders. So okay. yeah, it works out. Yeah. Oh no, but it's 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 uh, <laughs> ultimately even with all the stuff that's going on, it's still only ten minutes. You have a ten minute time limit to finish the puzzle together. Uh, so there's that also build anxiety. Yeah, and if that's not no. hard enough, of course, uh, all that stuff is you know it, it sounds easy. I know at this point, you can actually give yourself restrictions, which are things like you can't touch blue or you may only touch blue blocks. You can't touch the block that you're intending to move, so you'd have to. If I want to move this block, I have to do something like this. Oh. So it's a dexterity game on uh, top of everything else. You can't talk. You just kind of have to motion oh, no. and move stuff. There's also glitches which affect everyone, which uh, can be something similar to that you can't touch the block you're intending to move, or it might be something like uh, on these on these cards, pretend all yellow is white and all white is yellow. So it's just another thing you you have to stop and be like, uh, no. No, with the glitch, it's wrong, but okay. So there's there's ways up in the challenge. There's 60 puzzles in the box. Okay. Each of them have all the solution cards, and, or like one solution and nine uh, perspective cards with them. Uh, and they go from, they range from uh, family mode, which is the first 30, and then challenge mode, which is the 30 through, or 31 through 60. But actually, it scales in difficulty all the way from 1 to 60, so like oh, okay. puzzle 30 is, is just a hair less difficult. difficult. It's the most difficult of the family one, and then 31 is just a little more difficult than that. So if you play it 1 through 60, it's actually kind of like a little campaign right. game. Oh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's fun. It's it's a fun experience. So these are the challenge cards here. Yeah. So these are the glitcher card. The, the glitchers. The glitch cards. So like this one is swap yellow and black. Which probably is not. All right, we're gonna. Well, here's this one. Here's a white and blue. <laughs> Same <laughs> thing. <laughs> Except these ones show up. Oh Looks yes. Like a smiley face. No <laughs> one can talk unless you had the you may not talk restriction. So that means no one talks. If you got the you may not talk restriction, you are the only one that can talk. Very cool. Yeah, and they, so there's all, there's just ways of upping the difficulty without having to like resort to any like more increased puzzles if you want to play through the whole campaign and are you're kind of easing through some of them. I, it's really funny when you demo this, you'll see people like maybe the first two puzzles are like we got that so fast. Let okay. me try a level four Easy. or four star puzzle and so then they a, jump straight into what's it. What's a level sixty? A level sixty. So let's, let's like, like a fifty to sixty. I mean, I mean, uh, yeah. So these are you. this is a glutton for punishment, aren't you? <laughs> This you really so are. these are in that range. Uh, th so this one, it just they're generally more complex. Like these are some perspectives for that. Uh, I don't want to spoil the actual yeah, yeah, answer yeah. for it, but yeah, the perspectives get uh, way more complicated. A lot more blocks. Lot, yeah, yeah, more blocks generally are involved, and uh, with the more blocks, it blocks off more of what's behind it. Right. So that just makes it even more difficult. Do you uh, get an idea? Like, is there a set number of blocks to each puzzle? No, not that you're aware of. Cool. Yeah, you just kind of have to eyeball it. The, there's generally some shapes and some colors are only showing up in certain spots, so you can kind of you can kind of get an idea of what's going to be there. Uh, but it's it's still you got to work together. It's tough. You really got to pay attention to work together in this one. But yeah, this one this is a really quick game, and within ten minutes, like. You, you're going to be done. It's it's you can play generally in this game. You're going to play like a puzzle, and you're not going to want to stop. You're just going to be like, okay, next puzzle. Let's next do one. it again. Next I got to do it. <laughs> Unless you're playing with the trader, then you're probably like, kill him, <laughs> kill him, <laughs> kill him. Yeah. Uh, and it's a box full phone box. It's going to be a lot of fun. So when are we looking? I know this is obviously a very uh, prototype copy. When are we looking at release for this game? So this will be an August release. It'll be right after Gen Con. Uh, it'll be at Gen Con with us. Okay, so everybody will be able to pick up how many boxes you have at Gen Con. When are we looking about hitting retail shows? Uh, pretty shortly thereafter, so next week, the following weeks or so, probably end of August, most okay. likely. Does Panasaurus have anything else coming down the pipeline? We do, yeah. Uh, so we've got, uh, we showed past Stally off in a previous uh, video with you guys. Uh, that, that'll be out around that same time. Not you me. didn't get to see it. I know. I'm so sorry. It was great. It was, uh, everyone else got to see it. Ever. Uh -huh. It was the best show ever. Uh -huh. We, we, it was, yeah. We, yeah. I think it won an award. Did it? Won, it won a big time Emmy. It was fantastic. It was, yeah, I double checked it. I, I think, yeah. You double totally checked true. it? Yeah, I double checked it. Yeah. Did you? Give a fantastic acceptance. Yes. Good. Well, I mean, they do you. give out daytime Emmys like candy. So. It's true. <laughs> Except if you're Susan Lucci. <laughs> In which so, case. <laughs> so, so yeah, that that's a path building game. Uh, I'm sh I think that that's on on. There's some videos about yeah. out there, but it's a really cool little Japanese game that we brought over. We'll have copies of that at Dice Tarakon and y'all's general vicinity, yeah. uh, and then we'll have that out at Gen Con as well, and awesome. in August. 
And then we got Machikor Legacy, which is one we're really excited about. We don't have a box for that to show you guys. It's a legacy game. I couldn't show you that much anyway, but it's Machikor if you like Machikoro. It's uh, very similar to that, but it's got a lot of twists. And after the first game, things start going off the rails. You get to keep buildings. Your 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 city's going to grow and expand, and your your city will change game to game. Uh, and there's a lot of cool mechanics that we haven't had a chance to do in Machikor in the past that we're going to get a chance to do in this Good one. Awesome. We're really excited for it. Fantastic. Hunter, where can my audience come to check out more about what's going on with Pandasaurus? You can check us out on uh, pandasaurusgames.com. We actually just uh, are finishing an update on our website, so it's going to look a lot different really soon, a lot better. That's very cool. Awesome. Social media? Uh, yeah, we're at Pandasaurus Games on uh, Twitter, at Pandasaurus, I think, underscore game on Instagram, and Pandasaurus Games on Facebook. Wonderful. And Chris, tell everybody what it is that you got going on. So... Uh, my show is basically just a late night board game talk show. We have guests on in the style of like say Jimmy Fallon or late night shows and uh, we get to chat with them and you know maybe someday we'll get John Gilmore on but you know every time he wants to come on he, he you know cancels at the last minute like a traitor. No, I've never <laughs> actually asked him but um, you can find me at uh, game all night show and that's night spelled n i t e dot com. Uh, that's <laughs> everywhere. So, uh, and our viewer Nick wants to know if Godzilla is in Machi Koro Legacy. Yes, I can't. I I, I can't oh, talk that's about not a denial. I cannot that's talk about licensed entities in our game. <laughs> is there a giant dinosaur? I can't monster? talk about <laughs> possible kaiju in our game. I did. I can say I saw some really cool plastic components yesterday that got Whoa. brought into the convention, and I'm very excited. There might be some some form of giant monster. It might not be what you expect. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. It's more of a I can Gamora neither confirm nor go. Yeah, it's. <laughs> it's yeah. We we can we can get that license. <laughs> that one was fine. <laughs> no, no, I can. I, it, it would be fun <laughs> on eBay. It was easy. Not that one. Or, or best offer. <laughs> there you go. Four. Four max. <laughs> Top bit. There you go. Gentlemen, thank you so much for taking the time to come hang out with me. I really appreciate it. It's always a blast. Thanks no for having me. This was fun. Guys, stick around. We've got more great board game coverage coming right up.